Hey, I'm Nathan. Welcome to my channel. Uh, so it's another, you know, end of the month, beginning of the month sort of period in between this time around July and August. So I wanted to go through and just talk about some of the stuff grad school wise that's going on with the whole math PhD endeavor. As the title would suggest, I will be at attending, um, oh God, uh, Zoom University Graduate School, at least for a maj majority portion of the first semester of my PhD program. There will be, I think, a few sessions of class that we'll have in person, and there is the opportunity for some exams to be in person for at least the graduate students. But yeah, other than those few times, it's just gonna be you're in a box on a screen and you will forget to unmute yourself repeatedly on the same call. So that's essentially what I'll be dealing with class-wise from a structure standpoint. Last time I also talked a lot about quals and how I was getting ready for algebra and how that was going. And with the announcement that we will be mostly remote for the fall semester came the announcement that the qualifying exams will also be online. And all I can remember is watching all of those really sad TikToks about AP tests online and just how terrible it was. So I'm not messing with that. But yeah, with that and along with a few of the other concerns that I expressed about my lack of context for the algebra qualifying exam, I've decided that I'm not going to take it in, I guess it's three weeks from now is when I would take it if I was going to take it online on Zoom for six hours from my apartment with the potential for an upload failure that would end up screwing me over and make me have to go through the process all over again with one less attempt. Yeah, so I just don't wanna deal with that. And since I won't be taking a qual, this sort of naturally leads into what courses I will be taking this coming semester. So I'm going to be taking the core sequences for algebra and real analysis. And then I will also be taking that intro to instructing math slash communicating math course that's required of all graduate students who want to teach classes. And so those two core sequences, one in analysis and one in algebra, are classes that are actually two parts and they span the entire year. And the purpose of them is to get you ready for the qualifying exam in each of their subject areas. A lot of graduate programs have similar style classes that are supposed to prepare you for written qualifying exams if that is the route the institution goes for doing qualifying exams, at least for mathematics, that is. And so this year is essentially just a long period of review, which I think is the best case scenario for attending Zoom University Graduate School. And I say that because I've had a lot of experience with analysis and algebra and undergrad, and I've continued working with a lot of those ideas through making videos here on this channel and also just in my free time reading papers or working through problems on my own. I guess the only real negative to the deciding not to take the qual is that it's really just like sucked all of the motivation out of me to do mathematical things. It's kind of like all of the enthusiasm for algebra that I had from, you know, like I'm getting ready for this test. It's going to be really cool to take this exam. And I don't know, I, I was excited about taking a test. Don't at me. But all of that enthusiasm and all of that just went and I don't really know where it went. I have been taking the time that I was spending on algebra and putting it elsewhere. So I've spent a lot of the time that I would be studying for the algebra qual instead working on different coding exercises and working on some personal coding projects that I've been developing uh, this summer, which has been, I think it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've been really enjoying it and I've been able to spend a little bit more time on those things in the past week than I have because I've decided not to take the algebra qual. Alternatively, I've also done some more language study stuff in my free time as well. So yeah, I'm still learning things. I'm just not relearning slash reviewing algebra as intensely as I was last time I did one of these update videos. And so aside from all of the learning and academic yeah, stuff going on with my PhD endeavors, uh, this channel is something that I wanted to touch on as well because I'm about to hit one of 
many milestones on YouTube, which is the chance to apply for monetization, which is weird, feels weird, uh, that I have the opportunity to make any amount of money off of talking about things that I really enjoy and that I find really cool and fascinating and that have personally helped me when I have not been great in great places in my life. So I'm just kind of just baffled by that because the channel has grown a ton, as you can probably see by this graph of the past year. Uh, and that's awesome. And so part of getting organized before grad school starts is doing some legal things uh, regarding this channel just to make sure that like what monetary stuff that I have set aside for my job that um, is supposed to pay for things like food won't be affected by anything that could possibly go wrong with copyright or anything like that that I could potentially put up on this channel. So um, I guess when either when or around when this video is published, I will be working through finalizing some of those things and setting that all up to be separate from me as a person. I guess it's kind of like starting a business is what that's called, right? That's the that's the official name for it. Uh, it sounds weird when I put it that way that me talking about things I enjoy is becoming a business. Yeah, I am excited by it. And I know that doesn't sound convincing at all, but it's just overwhelming a little bit. And I know it's like, I'm a very small channel still. I get that. But still, things that I never thought would happen, happening. And at the same time that I will be gearing up to start my first semester of my PhD program, it's a lot. It's a lot. So uh, yeah, on that note, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your time and hanging out here, supporting what I do on the internet by watching these videos and interacting with me in the comments. I really do appreciate it. I really do enjoy talking to people and answering questions that people have about all the math things. And yeah, that's essentially all I wanted to say. You know, thanks again for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you do enjoy these PhD math endeavor, I guess, well, I guess channel update videos now, because apparently I do those, uh, you can subscribe for more of those. I have been doing them around every once a month as of late, but as more PhD things happen, I assume that those, that frequency will increase in the coming months. So there's that. Also, I'm pursuing a math PhD, so there's got to be math content on my channel as well. And so if you want to see any of the cool theoretical math stuff that I talk about, I'll put the whole playlist on the new chalkboard up there as well. But yeah, again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff. As always, I am Nathan. This one was Chalkless, and I will see you next time.